Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm the designer and architect of the Maximo BI or Business Intelligence Tools. And today's demo recording is on the new features in Maximo 7.6 with BERT. So let's get started and take a look at all the different tools that are available to you in the Maximo 7.6 release to analyze the vast amounts of data that Maximo produces. We have everything from QBE and application exporting, but then as we move up the spectrum of this diagram, everything that's highlighted in this gray or blue has been significantly enhanced in Maximo 7.6. So that includes result sets, KPIs, ad hoc reporting, BERT reporting, the Maximo BI packs, and Cognos. So that is so fabulous because it highlights the theme or the emphasis of the Maximo 7.6 release on analytics or business intelligence. And that's where we see the real value of Maximo. So in this demo, as I mentioned, let's specifically talk at a top level about the new BERT reporting enhancement features. Well, when we talk about reporting, we typically break it down into the different processes and the different users so you can understand where the features are best impacted or best applied. So for reporting, we often break it down into three top level phases of development and administration. And then lastly is our report viewer. And we have a number of different users who are involved in each one of those stages. But again, if we look at these three stages and now compare them to the new features available in Maximo 7.6, let's break it down a bit. So for development, the main feature update was the BERT upgrade that was made to BERT 431. In prior releases, we used BERT 371. With that upgrade, there are inherent features updates that you get with the BERT release. And additionally, there are some additional performance or excuse me, additional platform uh, updates. So for example, we'll support later browsers and later application servers. Also for the developer, we've done a lot of work on trying to give him more information to trouble or shoot a report through various SQL logging and failure identification. But I'm not gonna talk too much in detail about those features. What I'm really gonna focus on today in this short presentation, <clears throat> excuse me, is the number of performance enablers we made in terms of architecture and limits, and also the number of usability updates that we've made for our end users when they're viewing the report in the report viewer or the browser. So let's start with those report viewer updates. The number one RFE or request for functional enhancement that our clients and business partners were asking for was to give an additional XLS option when emailing and scheduling a report. And now we were able to do that in Maximo 7.6. The reason we were, they were asking for this is to reduce the file sizes that were sent with an XLS file and also to enable the graph display. So again, as I mentioned, here's our new Maximo 7.6 request page and you can see the two new options that are available with XLSX and XLS Other. Those will both reduce the file size and enable your graphs to display. Let's see what that looks like. You can continue, I should note, to met, or um, excuse me, you can continue to utilize the XLS file size as is shown here. And here are the two newer ones that are now available in 7.6. A couple of quick notes, you can see that they now have a graph. This earlier um, file size does not export the chart. And also what's really interesting is it takes each individual page that is produced on the report and generates an additional worksheet. So what does this all mean? It means you have more options now. You could choose to continue to reuse this file size or utilize the newer ones. Another update that we made, and I also call this the number one RFE attachment or um, request for enhancement because it was so tied with the emailing in XLS, was to do additional work on the BROS server. BROS stands for BERT Report Only Server. And to best explain that, let's take a look at what we have today in Maximo 7.1 and 7.5. B 
Basically, a BROS server enables you to separate report processing from the Maximo UI server, and this is a performance enabler. You can see what this looks like. Imagine you have two separate servers. This is your Maximo UI server where the BERT engine is disabled via proper property setting. And this is the same installation, but now your BERT engine is enabled via a property setting. And everything works great. I go and I run a report, it executes from the BROS. However, there are three exceptions. There continue to be three report processes that always executed from the UI server. That is, if you created a report or you ran a direct print or direct print with attachment. Well, now what we've done in 7.6 is we've re-architected the BROS server so that all processing, including QBR creation, direct print, and direct print with attachment will execute from the BROS server if it's configured. To find out more details on this, the Maximo 7.6 Report Performance Guide has been updated and it talks about all the new objects that were added, the new max tokens that are utilized, again, to enable this new configuration that 100% of the report processing will execute from the BROS server. Well, let's continue on that theme of performance and talk about when a user is now running a report. We had multiple ways in the 7.1 and 7.5 releases to prevent a user from submitting a very large report when, we weren't, when the report server didn't necessarily want to run it. So for example, let's look at record limits, the most popular one. Imagine you had a work order detail report, you set up the limit to be no more than 250 records. You thought that was a large query for your report server to handle. If a user wanted to run it against 10,000 records, you wouldn't let the job pass and they would be prevented from, from executing that. And we have a number of other features that are shown here. But what happens if there is no record limit set on the report or the user has still got under that limit, but the processing on the report server is so high? Well, prior to 7.6, we really had no way to stop that report from executing. And that's what we focused on. In 7.6, we've added three new features, server limits, cancelizations, and escalations to help you better manage any long or massive reports that are being executed on the report server after they're submitted. So again, the focus here is what can we do after those jobs are submitted? Well, the first one is the server limits. When I talked about work order details and setting that, say, 250 record limit at the parent level, it's looking at the parent work order objects. But think of the work order detail report and all the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren objects that are accessed, everything from job plans and assets and locations, related records, you know, all the Matt use trans, all those individual tables. All of a sudden, one single work order record can have, you know, hundreds of children and grandchildren and great grandchildren records. So the number of limits that is built up in that report hierarchy is very, very high. And that's where report server limits comes into play. Report server limits doesn't just look at the parent level. It looks at all records in the hierarchy and it sums up all records in the hierarchy. And if at the point where it's executing, it exceeds the limit that you set, it will stop the report from executing. So again, this is a great way to prevent massive report execution. And you can set this up in report admin at the individual report security level or security group level, excuse me. The next one is report cancelization. This actually isn't as much a new feature as more of an update to the feature. With BERT 431, we had additional APIs given to us through BERT. And with those APIs, we are now able to cancel a report no matter where it's processing. Prior to this, there was only very small number of use cases that we were able to cancel a report. So again, now we can cancel that report and the end user receives a message 
in his report browser that the report has been canceled or if the report was scheduled, he would get an email stating to him that the report was canceled. <clears throat> the next one is so exciting to me is, is report escalations. Everyone is so busy. They don't have time to always go and report admin and look at the view report processing dialog to see which reports are executing a long time. So that's where escalations come into play. You can now define an escalation and you can define it however you want to say that if a report is executing, for example, longer than 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you decide, your admin is going to see, receive notification. So he can then go to report admin and cancel the report before it brings down a report server or causes negative performance impact. So again, escalations are so powerful and unique because we can push him the notification automatically rather than making him manually go into report admin and look for long running reports. So again, what I've talked about real briefly here were some of the updates that we made to BERT report. I highlighted the BERT upgrade. We talked about the new report viewer updates with the new emailing capabilities in XLSX and XLS Other. And we also talked about the BROS configuration. And in addition to BROS configuration, the new performance enablers we have with our report server limits, with our escalations and cancelizations. So just a quick other um, couple points that I want to highlight to you. I've introduced these at such a top level, but there's many, many places that you can go to find out additional details. Here's a report wiki, which contains a lot of information on the new features in Maximo 7.6. It also can be used as a launching point to get to some of the recordings and documentations that are referred to here. And also there's some blogs or bylogs that come out on a regular basis that talk about these new features. There are a number of recorded demos. Demos are often easier to understand and to see the action, or excuse me, see the new functionality in action. So I highly recommend that you um, either subscribe to the IoT Support YouTube channel or access some of the playlists. All the features that I've talked about are on the IBM Maximo 7.6 BI development playlist channel. And here's the performance document that I mentioned. This is where you're going to find the details on the BROS server and on all the escalations, um, the cancelization, and those report server limits. So with that, I'd like to thank you very, very much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the new Maximo 7.6 BERT reporting features. Thank you.